Oh, neat. All right, call to order. You on camera now? Mm -hmm. First order of business. Approve the meetings from last month, April 20th. What's that? April 20th meeting minutes. Okay. Approved. I make a motion that we approve Ms. Presented. You can't. Oh, why? Oh, that's right. I make a motion I'm sorry. As approved, I'm just trying to move present it. They, they, were, they are correct. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. We have a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? I wasn't at the meeting, so I can't. You can so, vote no. according to the new rules. As, no, the uh, rules you can. Yeah, but how, what, why would I vote on something I wasn't at? Because they say you can. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor of acceptance of the minutes of uh, our last meeting signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, we score four zero. Anybody opposed? Four zero. Jonathan uh, is present. You can't abstain because then that's a vote. Exactly. What's our next thing up, Sam? Uh, director's report. Director's report. It's short and sweet. Uh, Eric Jungle, who's been a long time EMT basic with Deerfield EMS before he was in town, went to paramedic school, passed his paramedic, mm -hmm. uh, is now uh, getting the upgrade process to work as a paramedic with South County EMS. So that mentoring program, making sure he's on board and a competent paramedic, which I'm sure he is, but we still do the program. So um, he got appointed to paramedic as did two other new per diem uh, paramedics last night. And one of them was uh, a finalist for the last full-time position. And I didn't have enough full-time slots to offer him one, but he's enthusiastic to work here. And, I'm, and I think he's gonna be a huge asset to the department. So that's great. Um, outreach, it's our busy season. Um, last month, I kind of went out town by town. We just got done with the Deerfield Elementary School Fun <coughs> Festival. Mm -hmm. um, the only complaint that my staff had was that the Deerfield Police Department brought a pony and they couldn't compete with that. <laughs> so, what was the pony's name? Blondie. Blondie. So, <laughs> the kids love a pony. Um, we just had a CPR machine, but you know, <laughs> um, that was good. Yeah, CPR to the pony. <laughs> That Where were you that day? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got uh, we've got the pound the pavement 5K coming up. We have the um, Mother's Day Waitley Marathon just happened. We've got the Memorial Day Parade coming up. So um, our our plate is full. So that's great. Um, new truck is here and it's parked outside. It'll be put in service very very soon. The final radio installation just occurred this morning, and. Um, State inspector is going to come around for our annual inspection anyway. So um, he was like, "Put it in service." I know you guys are stellar. I'm not going to find anything that's going to prevent it from going in service. So put it in service. I'll be around in a couple weeks, and and we'll check it off the list at that point. So um, we will kick the tires on that. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. Uh, facility, <clears throat> nothing to report by design, and. Uh, town meeting. So all the on-duty crews were present at town meeting to shake hands and uh, kiss babies and talk to the public, answer questions. I was able to personally attend Deerfield and Waitley. I couldn't make the Sunderland one, um, but I know the on-duty Sunderland crew went over there to um, say hi. Um, a lot of people thought we were cops and asked that we didn't arrest them. And when I said, no, we're paramedics, and they make a joke about it. It's going to get that crazy in there. I hope we don't need paramedics. Um, but <laughs> Maybe you guys can do High Five Fridays. High Five Fridays. There you go. Somebody should. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I guess that's it right now. So we're through budget season and I'm just on my heels up, I guess. <laughs> All right, Jack, what's, up? what's next on the agenda? Um, there was a new unforeseen business last night um, during the appointment process for the three per diems I inquired about. Uh, my raise that the BUA had approved retroactive for fiscal year 17. Um, the Deerfield's personnel committee, because I'm a Deerfield employee, um, reviewed it as part of their process and they disagreed with the recommendation and the vote of the BOO and instead voted and recommended a lesser amount. And based on that... Uh, step, the old step seven. It w yes, so the recommendation from the BOO was for the old step 10 and the they, personnel committee recommended the old step seven. Right. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what their... Do, does the personnel committee of Deerfield understand the intermunicipal agreement as it is written? Um, that's what we wanted to clear. I told Zach, I apologize because I had thought, and but Trevor went through our minutes and there was nothing in our minutes. Because after the personnel meeting, 
met in April, I had thought, uh, it was like the first couple days of April, and I thought that we had mumbled through our way on how to sort out something. So, but we couldn't find anything in the minute. So I, I must seriously apologize, it was my can, fault. Can and, you explain what's in the end? And so what we need to sort out, what we did last night yeah. was approve step seven so that Zach could get part of his pay. And then so what we're focusing in on is the difference between step seven and step 10. And what we need to sort out is um, the clarity. Part of this is, you know, um, they weren't meeting for a while because we didn't have a, a, a we didn't have a form. So we approved um, Zach's or the Boo's um, pay pay rates for the new hires over the summer uh, or a few months ago without getting a recommendation. And so um, you know we've trying to be really careful, but we need to sort out if didn't we. S didn't we set it up that we weren't going through the personnel board? We, we set it up. I mean, the, the IMA, as it stands, clearly states that this body is the governing authority, the decision-making authority of this organization. And the town of Deerfield is the fiscal agent processes administratively the decisions that are made by this organization. So, so No one has the authority to overrule our decision. Because, um, you know, this, there was a little bit of a, going through the budget process, the Capital Improvement Committee refused to, uh, well, they approved two cots, but at $10,000, which it was the original submission. But then Zach came back and said, no, they were going to be 25000 each. So the Capital Committee said, we're only approving one. And, but we went to the Finance Committee and um, we argued for it. So the Finance Committee recommended it, town meeting voted it. So um, we need to sort this out for the, as the Capital Committee, the Finance Committee, and the Personnel Committee because um, it's, it's very um, I want to just yeah, figure out where us. the, like you said, you've got this written in, in, the, in, in the agreement between all three towns. It gets confusing on this side because of the processes of this town. So I'm trying to figure out where they where well, what I together. was thinking of doing is getting um, our the municipal lawyer, <coughs> our municipal lawyer, to look over the agreement and, and make a statement saying that the boo is the authority, and that even though we're, we are the fiscal agent and we process things, this 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 decision, and we only as a select board recommend, you know, I mean, get the recommendation and we vote it through or not, but. It's, it's not subject to all these extra committees because um, is what we decide here is not the same as some of the policies that we have in place. And so there's a conflict. But it's because, well, I, see, I would argue it's not a conflict because it's, it's a different apparatus because it is a three town. It, it's not two towns supporting a third town. It is three towns acting as equal partners. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so and, that's and so that's the overriding decision making authority. And and any of the towns could be that administrative apparatus. It was right. just selective that different. that different exactly. but but Whaley or Sunderland could well, easily do it. Well that's what I was it. wondering. If, if, yes. if Sunderland took it over, do, do we follow Sunderland's personnel board? Well, well, or, do, or do we does this organization have a personnel policy and a um, a pay raise policy and all that stuff set up as a regular town would? Because could we just pick any number out of the sky to pay any employee and then how how would it, how would we really implement that or who would have pushback on that if we decided to pay everyone two hundred thousand dollars a year not that we would i'm just i think crazy. the pushback would be the town meetings of the three the town meetings yeah communities without one having to supersede the other two um but but in in theory what you're saying as i read it is correct we could if we were crazy make rec any recommendation we, we wanted to um and the by again by my understanding the I, Again, you know, yeah, me too. I'm that, trying to learn this. that the, whoever the fiscal agent is is the is is simply that administrative apparatus 
that implements the decisions of this organization. I thought that that's the so, way we set it up, and that the only real check is the town meetings. Well, the well, three town one, meetings. One thing I, meetings. what I'm curious about is um, because they are Deerfield employees, say we grant 200000 for an employee. Um, Let's make it 500000 just to make just it really Just make it really crazy. So, <laughs> so, so we, 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 we grant somebody some crazy. <laughs> so if we do this, um, e -D this is, all these people are playing, you know, all the towns are, are phoning up and paying their fair share of that, of that thing. Yeah. But the retirement of that employee rests in Deerfield. Yeah, so, but so everybody's contributing to that. All three right. towns all are three contributing. Towns are contributing oh. So there's no, not one town, if they were, are hanging out with no. any no. extra no. No. liability. It's a, it's a great conversation That's because, curious. because, it needs, because there, something related to that has to go on in a future agenda about <laughs> assets of the organization and how they get distributed upon, upon dissolution. Right. What uh, happens sure. yeah. and with I, these that's town nowhere. employees, you know, say in five years, this organization dissolves. Mm. Those town employees are still going to be on the retirement thing, and it's all going to be on Deerfield. Uh, well, and also, along the way, as being town employees of Deerfield, don't they when have... They, they paid into it. I understand they yeah. paid into it. But that's but when, they're, when they're separate, we're still going to be obligated to pay. In other words, if Zach retired next year and the organization breaks up, or we're, we're still going to be obligated to pay for him for however many years it goes on. Or you have the OPEB liability. Well, yes, but part of the, when you dissolve, the OPEB liability would be split the same whatever way. Whatever percentage. Yeah. But that is you're written out. And I'm not right. sure it is written out at this point. Okay. Well, no, right. none, sure. none of us are paying OPEB. At all. No, but if we ever did, but if we ever did, that's right. my point. It, yeah. it should be spelled this out. This is the year. This is the year that we all have to do, or Deerfield has to do anyway. The OPEP. So we will. We've only ever had estimates, and I, I mean, I felt like a, looking at the numbers, it was like 1.7 million for Deerfield as as a town, and um, so we'll find out the actual numbers this year. We'll, we have to pay for someone mm -hmm. to give us the actual numbers, and and. The EMS will be part of that, so we will <coughs> actually get an estimated number, but and then I, we have to cover it. I think that this whole conversation really needs to, to continue quite a bit because, you know, I understand the agreement in the three towns, but the bottom line is that they're still Deerfield employees and that they have to follow all the policies and procedures that we have because if they don't, then there's going to be other town employees that say, well, you know, how come it happened with this? Well. You know, they're not really town employees. Because it, it is a different system, though. It's a different it is mechanism. different. I understand it's different, but, you know, who who are, the, are they responsible as Deerfield employees or Sunderland employees or Waitley employees? Whose policies do they follow, you know? Well, I mean... I, I, and maybe that's know, something we need to have. That's what I'm saying. Perhaps, we need to, we need to figure that out. Yeah. You know, just for simplicity's sake, again, because I really do believe that the, the town on record as the fiscal agent is nothing more than an administrative apparatus. Correct. I am more That's than correct. happy That's I am correct. more yeah. than happy to recommend that Whitley or Sunderland be the fiscal agent. And then yeah. Deerfield doesn't have to have that headache. I, I would have no and then and if if Whitley were the fiscal agent, I would make sure that Whitley just gave the blessing of this organization whatever decision was made as long as it passed the three respective town well, meetings. So the real if it's a headache so then so well, do I'm, just in, do I'm going to the personnel board on, on the next meeting, and we'll get this. We'll get the difference sorted out. They wanted Zach's resume. They wanted a job description, which I know personally that they had gotten in the past. And so maybe, we'll maybe sort we do out. need to set up an apparatus where it, where this body mm -hmm. and these employees are are different than others because if, if you're it's you can't have it both ways i mean it's really hard to well, we did have, have a separate a we did have a separate e emt compensation mm -hmm. and that and when we rolled our new out our new compensation like zach's new compensation is not quite off that step seven is is only a little bit off the, the old ems 10. compensation was the exact same values as the town, the town of Deerfield. -wide but it was a separate it was a, table. Yes, it, it was, was a separate, separate table, table with the and same the idea values. We, could, we couldn't hire anybody unless we started at like whatever mm -hmm. it was. And we're only supposed to use by our bylaws the first three steps for well, a new right. thing. Well, and so can, can I, this is I why, just, yeah. that's why there was such bad feelings. I just feelings. got a couple of questions. When Frontier, when Frontier brings a capital request to 
the thing? Does does the Deerfield Capital yes. Committee review it? We review everything. Or the Capital Committee mm-hmm. reviews anything and everything. Wow. And I, I, I guess we've been after the schools to submit. We have no submissions from the elementary school. Oh, well, we have a couple of well, I can understand things. the elementary school. And I was just wondering about but Frontier. Frontier, sort of and thing. we have nothing from Frontier for at all. For but, but, they, but, they are cap, but they're doing capital expenditures. But they're not asking for money as a capital, separate capital money. Sure they are. Sure they are. We have no requests that came through. It's just part of the budget. Really? What have you had? What have you had? We just had the, the their moving expenses was one. They asked us. We to missed that. that we was missed our that. Fault. Uh, that was one thing. Yeah. Right. We, the, uh, I was going to say. Our, our Wendy. Our, Wendy our, received the memo. Not a friend against that, but that's another <laughs> discussion. Well, that's another discussion. But but Kip was ta- they, they they were going to do the roof, right? Yeah, but they never actually. But did, the, they right, but th- that would have gone to your capital committee also. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, it, it, I I, I just see, I just I just find that. That, that's but that's that goes to the capital, and they recommend to the board of selectmen. Then it goes to the finance. No, I I, I just didn't understand. I didn't. I mean, because our I don't think our capital. I mean, our capital looks at our capital within the the town, but we don't look. We wouldn't look at frontier. The selectmen would. I mean, that's that's why, that's why you guys is. You know why the recommendations go from the board of oversight to the board of selectmen, but. I it's thought. not so much the personnel board. Right. Well, I, and, and I think that the selectmen, the way it was originally set up, was a, the selectmen from each of the towns were were we kind of like the to, were yeah. the gatekeepers. They, yeah. We we you know the board of oversight was the day the, the look at the day to day operations, okay. but then the boards of selectmen to each of the town, and there was discussion about having members of select board or not on the committee, and yeah. there was pluses and minuses to having that. Sure. But the boards of selectmen in each town were thought of as a gatekeepers about, and and, and and let's not forget the only the biggest reason why we didn't go with a, a regional district and or a 501c3 was that we thought we were going to save money. And I think we are. Yeah. And I think we are watching it carefully, and um, I think we're doing really well. <clears throat> and I think once we get. All this stuff straightened out. We can back away. But, from but it. we have to figure out the hurdles because I know. Yeah, yeah. that's not a. Good, I mean, it, again, for simplicity's sake only. Yeah. It, just for argument's sake, if Whaley were the fiscal agent, it, it, we wouldn't go to personnel. We wouldn't go to capital. Who would look it over? The select board. That's it. And we and we don't have the we well, don't we have as much minutia with our pay scale as larger towns do, and that's just the way it goes. That's sure. the way. So, to, for simplicity's sake, why not? I mean, if, if it's this complicated, and this well, shouldn't be complicated. To, no, no, we're trying to iron it out. And I think I we've ironed out some it, of this. It's nice to know what, you know, what the authority is, right. so, that, so that we can have those discussions in town or with the other boards. I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, if, if this is the only decision making and no other, nobody but the Board of Selectmen could change it um and that's the way it was sold to the three towns back when we were selling this thing in 2011. but, it, but it, it's not good to know but i, I, I mean that's try. what i believe i i i, I don't i don't about. personally have a problem if the deerfield um finance committee absolutely not the personnel committee absolutely not or the building committee wants to have input that that's fine uh, Input's fine but but their input should go there i believe their input should go to the board of selectmen and and then then that input should come back if there is a divi- divergent mm-hmm. thought process come then it should to come out board. to the boo and say hey guys this is what this we're is what thinking we're right but no yeah. one committee like that should be able to, st- to like, stop something like like because because i would say like like the 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 stretchers i mean that's a i mean that, and, that's and we a, explained it. I, well, mean, no, no, I, was, I, I really advocated. No, no, no I, I understand. I'm, uh, this is just, just so, this is a hypothetical mm-hmm. thought process, I, and I think that's what we're trying to do. But but you're not saying that you don't your committees don't have an op and, and you want them. You want them to. I think you want them to be involved. Mm-hmm. But they should be talking to the selectmen and say, Hey, Kip, Carolyn, Trevor, this is our problem. Or Tom, 
Um, and these are our problems. What can you do? And then, they, then we would come back to this group and talk about it. You know, I think what they were having with problems with is that is that um, they had these policies in place as a as a personnel board that that they would hire at this certain scale, <clears throat> and we were bringing in employees up here instead of down here, just because that's what the market demanded and what Zach needed, and it's what our organization needed. So we were bringing them in. So they were, you know, you're supposed to be bringing them in down here, and, and they're getting overshot by the select board all the time. You know, we're all, all year long, we're loading them in up here, and they're like, well, why do we even come here? And we've got this policy, and maybe that's an internal thing, but they, um, they were just feeling like dissed. And then, so, they, so then when they got this request for Zach, they had this jump from here to here. They didn't know the history of what this board decided. They're just saying, well, how can I go from here to here? It, I just, it, it, it goes beyond any of our, what we've given them or what the town has for a and policy. I think came, that's where the rub came. Bobby came and spoke. He did. And I spoke and Trevor was there and um, they still voted for step seven. So. Kip. Well, what I was going to say, my intake or input to that is a little bit different is that um, I think that all of the boards in Deerfield uh, do, you know, put forward a request uh, of their input in the board, and it is the select board's um, ultimate decision. And that, uh, you know, sometimes things just kind of get, I feel, pushed through, um, and, and I don't particularly like it, you know, for a lot of different things. But I think in this particular case, uh, there were a couple of meetings that I went to where they were going to address, you know, Zach's uh, compensation. And Zach wasn't there, and nobody from this organization was there except for myself. And uh, <clears throat> so they, that thing just kind of got kicked down the road. The month before uh, that uh, Zach and Bob showed up, they were talking about you know everything that went on. The conversation was they had an, that board had a hard time understanding twofold. One is everything that. Um, Trevor had mentioned about the steps in the grade, but the other thing was the performance. They read a year-old performance review that they basically said sounded like his grandmother wrote it. It was it was great. You know, I know you're here, but and that they say, you know, because these women are friends with the office, they you know continually the office has problems with the payroll. You know, the paperwork was not right. It's not correct. They continually hear about the hundred and fifty thousand dollars in overtime that hasn't been changed or corrected. And at our meetings, that was addressed for months on end. And they all know this. And so they're, now they're saying, well, now the Board of Oversight wants a, a $10,000 raise. We just don't see the justification because the management portion of that we don't see is this. So that's why we come to the agreement that we, or the dollar amount that we did. The night that Zach and um, Bob were there, <clears throat> I think the dollar amount was 75000 and they kind of turned it because, you know, I feel that uh, they feel a bit intimidated. They're on the spot, and they kind of came up with this, well, the 75000 was recommended from the Board of Oversight, but our pay scale is at 68, so we're going to compromise and go to 70. And I think that's, that's the whole process. And however that worked out, and whatever adjustments we can do or make, you know, something we need to work on. But I think that that's my input as to how it all came about. I, I think there's also one is an is an understandable just your 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 con it's conceptual. When the town of Deerfield, and it could be any town, puts together a pay scale for whatever employee, it's based upon the size of a town. It's based upon the delivery of services for an individual town. Zach is is running something bigger than Deerfield just by numbers. If and and my guess is that if if Deerfield was proportionally as large as the three towns, then the pay scale might be a little a little different because it's just larger. It's the pay scale in Northampton or Amherst are bigger than the pay scale in Deerfield. So I, I think there's that understandable disconnect that it's just it's just scale, but. But then the other thing that I think people have to really understand, it gets back to this conversation, is that the performance review is is our performance review. It, it's not because one organization or one entity within a functional 
bureaucracy, payroll, whatever it is, can't be a deciding factor. They can provide input, as Tom points out, and should provide input to board of selectmen that, that comes back to the boo. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have an entire picture of a performance review, you just are thinking about this is my experience. Right, right. Well, that performance review may have weighed that, but the weighting still had the review being a strong reviewer of it. They don't have the authority to review the. They just, they just don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't. I've been an, an outspoken critic of our new compensation plan. Anyways, I, I don't like the way it was <laughs> yes, set up, and it, I mean, I, it it personally bothers me to think that the town of Deerfield is paying people who mow a cemetery the same, if not more, than we're paying paramedics. To me, that just blows my mind. I I don't get it, and I never will. Skilled versus unskilled labor is well. I guess if, is, if you don't yeah. pay these guys a good job, these guys are going to take care of you afterwards. But I mean, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. I, really well. I'm with you on that. Yeah. I just I, I well, but it, but the, I I was not involved in creating that. But I I've seen I've read the studies. I've seen this, and I've, I've listened to all the arguments, mm -hmm. and and they compare to this town and that town. They try to come up with an average, and right. you know I just I'd rather be I'd rather pay there people on their. There was I know there was, right. and we spent and, a lot. And of we money don't have because we can't compare to other towns because we're not a town entity. Right. Well, but but I, see, and I I will. A I I agree with Kip when you, if you just compare salaries without looking at what the job description is of those positions, you're not really comparing apples to apples. Right, right. Because I, I know there are positions like just between Sundown and Deerfield that you can say they have the same title, but they don't do the same job. Right. And 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 you have to and you have to understand that. I will say, um, when we first when we we struggled and Gary was there, um, on it, when when we first came up with the pay scale for the director, we struggled because we had nothing to compare. Right. To. We had no way. I mean, you might as well put put numbers in a hat and draw it. And and I think that's one. Well, and, and if and I were that, to tell and anything, that complicated to it because what it was is we're going to start you off at this, and if you're successful, this is where you're going to go. And people didn't understand, and that. they didn't hear that. Well, yeah, but, yeah. And, and I, but I, I'll tell you, I I have no idea. And when it started, and, and there, because there's not actually there's not a lot of information on the compensation of a an EMS director. Yeah. And, and I don't. I, and so it, when we first came up, I somebody made the motion for Zach. What Zach's original thing was, and I didn't know if it was right or wrong. And I didn't. There was not a whole bunch of research that could be done in this area. And, and on top of that, this area we don't have a lot of data. Right. And that's unfortunate because if you look, because I voted, Zach knows how I voted on, on certain things, and Zach and I, and, and I voted no because I thought it was a big jump, probably like your members of your finance committee, okay? But when I sit back now and look at and, and seeing around what other people are getting compensated doing similar jobs, I go, well, it's not, probably not out of line. You know, I, I and again, I, I know that first year was very difficult. The second year got a whole bunch better, and now we're doing a lot better. So, mm -hmm. so how and does that, this resolve? And, I, and, and well, I, I just want to make a statement for the minutes. Is in fact, I have been working with Zach, and he has dealt with personnel issues very successfully that have not cost us a excessive amount of money. And I and you know over the course of the uh, last few months. So, and, and we resolved um, some overtime issues with hiring staff, and um, we're doing some outreach now and stuff like that. So I, I feel that I can advocate successfully for the, the justification of his pay raise. And so what I was gonna do was go to the personnel committee and bring all the documentation again and say, oh, look, we need, this is what we voted on. And I was going to get a statement from the lawyer because, uh, honestly, uh, my impression was that we, the Board of Oversight, we are equal partners, and the Board of Oversight is is yeah. is the you know the, what we do as Deerfield Selectman is really it is just really a rubber stamp, and we ch we're like a check because we're the fiscal balance fiscal agent, but we are not overriding anybody else. So maybe we can take. 
But we need, I needed to get well, that you, clarified. You, you, you do I disagree with you, Karen? I still believe each board of selectmen should should have an in the, in the independent over review of what's coming from the boot. I still I still believe that, yeah. and, and so I don't think of it as rubber stamping. If if we're not doing a, if well, the boot isn't doing a good job, it has negative connotations. Right. But what I'm saying is we didn't have the authority. Right. We have the authority to question. If right. it's not, right. if there's, if you we need have, to, you can, and you can bring it back and say, you guys, we're struggling with this. Yeah. Right. So right. Can, or, can we, can, can, right. can yeah. we agree to leave on there? So, Carolyn, you need to work on the Zach yes. thing. I, and, I, okay, I promise. We, we want to get done. I, Kip, do you want to add anything? I just promise Summer, that I will yeah, follow yeah. through, and this will get done before right. June thirtieth, so that Zach will get the difference. Okay. Um, right. Retroactively, but the, 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 press, the, the thing that's important to me is the precedent is that this organization is well. That's what I wanted to just clarify. That, that, yeah. that, yeah. and, and that and that needs to be on our next next agenda. Yes. Um, well, maybe after maybe after the spring is gone because I know things are really going on. So maybe the, the first meeting August July, September August, we can September. talk about that. Is right. that okay? Sure. All right. Gary, you have anything to add to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so is okay we go on to the next item? Yeah, sure, sure. Zach, what's up next? Zach, <clears throat> by the way, I, I know, look, I know it's very difficult to be the man that we're talking about, and I appreciate how you're I, handling it. Oh, no, no problem. problem. Okay. That's, it's getting it on. It's no, it's my body. <laughs> I'll return that, when it's time. <laughs> it's extremely awkward, but I can now honestly say that I feel like Zach is, um, I mean, I can, I have some experience that I can. Right. Talk but we, we all but we voted on this performance know, review a long time ago. Right. We were unanimous on that. I vote. know, but and 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 Jonathan, I I totally get that. But the three of us are brand new to the board, and you know we're struggling with. We're making working a year with, ago now. It's a year now. I know. And it's and a year. I, but so, Zach, I have that exactly. experience. What do you got next on the agenda? Um, that, I think that was it. Aside, if we want to kick the tires on the new, I want to kick the tires. Yeah, does, does anybody does anybody want to add uh, anything for the good of the uh, board of oversight? I think we're wonderful. <laughs> I think so too. Thank you, John. Did you say August or after? Yeah, I, 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 for you know, that for yeah. that discussion. Yeah, is that okay? Well, the discussion would be. It, it's more about. The workings of the boo and the town. Yes, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. we should have. Um, we're going to get a lawyer to look at it and fine. clarify it. Well, I, I mean, think that's I my think impression that when we sold yeah. it to the town. I, I think there's but a couple of things that we have to address. One is the uh, the equipment and all that's also. Yeah, I mean that's a big part of it. The assets are, mm -hmm. you know, and it, and oh, we realize that we're yeah. signed over an ambulance. Oh, if this thing were to dissolve tomorrow, Jeez. yeah, do you, Sunderland do you and, and Whitley have nothing, and that's a problem. Well, I, but I don't remember being written that way. But no, I, I, I don't remember I would, being written it's that not way. Written. I, I That's their fault. Yeah, all right. So, so that's the yeah, yeah. agreement. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. Good yeah. of the the. But what, what I was I hoping to great. resolve in June was the re-registering of all three ambulances under our policy because right. Um, right. Sure. Sunderland is now you we. Did we take off the old Waitley one yet? Or Wait, gone. Waitley's gone. off, Waitley's gone. Okay. Yeah, so now stories. we have two. I don't blame you. Yeah, I got we have it. two of the three, but you are paying under your insurance policy right. for your ambulance. And we need, when you go to re-register in July 1st, yep. it needs okay. to come yep. over. So it's okay. under part of our. All right, you guys are going to go kick tires. I'm not. Uh, we well, a motion to. We, yeah, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn because we will not conduct any further business besides view, Correct. the viewing of the, viewing the, of the viewing. Of the viewing. The viewing. The viewing of the live <laughs> during the live right, angle. You have second a mo the view. motion yes. made and I seconded second further time. discussion. Done. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Please declare us out, Zach, at uh, 538.